I think the audiences have changed actually more than the actors, and thereby the actors have adjusted. The audience was required to use their imagination more, mm -hmm. and I think that's a good thing. As far as the technique for the actors for that, uh, the great thing about that time period was that they were really about the voice. Mm -hmm. It was all about, and some, I mean, that's where you get a bit of the master thespian kind of thing, <laughs> and, and that's not a good thing, but the power and the technique that was required, um, a strong classical actor um, nowadays has that instrument, has the power, and also has the, um, uh, uh, the technique to back it up mm -hmm. for the audience, but it requires the audience to use some imagination. Soft! What are they doing on the window, please? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business to entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. I want the best speakers mm -hmm. for the roles. Um, but, uh, you know, you have to allow for some theatricality and some, some, some breadth there. Uh, you know, I have uh, Juliet's parents in this production um, are both tall and blonde. Juliet is short and dark. <laughs> but they're the best performers for it. Wife, we scarce thought us blessed that God had lent us but this only child. But I now see that one is one too much, and we are a curse in having her. Round on her building! God in heaven bless her! You are to blame, my lord, to rate her, sir. And why, my lady wisdom, hold your tongue? Good prudence, smother with your gossip stone! I speak no treason! Praise some mumbling fools! Utter your gravity of our gossip's fall! For here we need it not! You are too hard! God's bread it makes me mad! Oh, oh. Day, night, work, play, alone in company, still my care hath been to have her matched! <laughs> And having now provided a gentleman of noble parentage, youthful, of fair demeans, and nobly trained, stuffed, as they say, with honorable parts, proportioned as one's thought would wish a man. And then to have a wretched puling fool, a whining mammoth in her fortune's tender to answer, I'll not wed, I cannot love, I am too young, I pray you pardon me. <laughs> What can you will not wed? I'll pardon you. Graze where you will. You shall not house with me. Look to it. Think on it. I do not use to jest. Thursday is near. Lay hand on heart, advise. And you be mine, I give you to my friend. And you be not, hang. I've seen uh, productions of, of Shakespeare where I'm just like, oh, they so didn't hit the mark. I mean, they, they're, they're, they're playing it as a museum piece. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's nothing here. But the audiences are raving and going crazy because right. they're seeing the Hamlet. And I didn't understand it, so it must have been a good Hamlet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? As opposed to mm -hmm. leaving yeah. the theater uh, uh, moved and, and informed mm -hmm. about something in life. I think Shakespeare has such great stories about uh, life and the struggle it is to be a human being. Ha! Banishment! Oh, be merciful, say death! For exile hath more terror in his look, much more than death. Do not say banishment! Hence from Verona art thou banished. Be patient, for the world is broad and wide. There is no world without Verona walls first. Purgatory! Torture! Hell itself! Oh, deadly sin! Oh, rude unthankfulness! Thy fault our law calls death, but the kind prince taking thy part hath rushed aside that law and turned that black word death to banishment. Oh, this is dear mercy, and thou seest it not. Tis torture and not mercy! 
Heaven is here where Juliet lives. And every cat and dog and little mouse, every unworthy thing, they may hear in heaven and may look on her. But Romeo may not. <sighs> Shakespeare gives you everything you need. And I talk to the actors about this all the yeah. time. You, you, uh, if you just listen to the language that's set, laid out there and really believe and invest in it, like any good performance, mm -hmm. you're good, it, the audience will be in rap. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep dwell in thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace, so sweet to rest. <laughs>